ourselves right there. Yeah? yeah? As you read in Revelation um, uh, uh, 1 and uh, where is that again? 1 and 14, isn't it? Where's my thing gone, yeah? Where's this thing gone? Yeah? Somebody get the scripture for us if you if you got it right there in front of you. Read it. Yeah? What's, what's the scripture? Actually, I, wonder, I don't have my Bible with me. All right. Where, where is where, where is it? Where da, is get, da, get Daniel, Daniel for us. Book of Daniel. Daniel's 10 and 6. Yeah, Daniel 10 and 6, yeah. Daniel okay, 10 and 6, it. yeah. So if you if you read for us, yeah. His body was also like the burial. Ah. In and fact, in fact read it read it from read it from verse one, please. Verse one, verse one. Yeah. Just so we have context, you know. Okay, all right. Okay. In the in the third year of Cyrus, king of Persia, right. a thing was revealed unto Daniel. Right. Whose name was called Belteshazzar. Right. The king was true. Right. And the thing was true. Right. But the time appointed was long. Right. And I understood the thing and had understand of the vision. Right. Mute your mic, brothers. If you if you're busy, just mute the mic. Go on, brother. Yeah. In those days, Daniel was mourning three full weeks. Right. I ate no pleasant bread, neither came flesh nor wine in my mouth. Right. Neither did I anoint myself at all. Mm. Till three whole week were fulfilled. Mm. And in the four and twentieth day of the fifth first month, mm. as I was by the by the side of the great river, mm. which is Hedikel. Right. Hedikel. Right. Verse five, verse five. Then I lift up my eyes and look, and behold a certain man clothed in linen. Whose line will gird with fine gold and offers? Right. His body was also like was like the burial, and his face as appearance of lightning, and his eyes and la as lamp of fire. Right. And his arm and his feet like in color to polish brass. There you go again. Right. Yeah. Read on. And the voice of his word like the voice of multitude. Right. Like you done? A, yeah, like the voice. Uh, you can stop there. We can go Revelation also quickly. Because yeah. just so we can point out to... Um, um, Revelation how much? I think it... Excuse me. <clears throat> um, what's that again? Revelation... Um, who remembers that scripture again? Uh, one second. Sorry about this. Guys. Chapter 1? Yeah, uh, read, read chapter one for us from uh, chapter one and one for us. Yep. Um, okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, the revelation of Jesus Christ, uh, which the Most High gave unto him, okay. to show unto his servant thing which must shortly come to pass. Right. And he sent and signified it by his angels right. to his servant John. Right. So read that. Yeah. Go on, yeah. Who be a record of the word of the Most High. Yeah. And of the testimony of his son, right. Jesus Christ. Right. Okay. And of all things that he saw. Right. Blessed is he that readeth, mm. and they that hear the words of this prophecy mm. and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand right so jump down to jump jump, jump down to verse uh, 13 and then finish at 15 for us please mm, all right and in the midst of the seven candlestick mm. one like the son of man right clothed with a garment down to the foot mm. uh, girded about the paps with a golden Bottle. Mm. His head and his hair was were white like wool. Like white like wool. Yeah. 
as white as snow, right. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Right. Read and on. his feet like unto fine brass. Like unto fine brass. Yeah. As on. if they were burned in a furnace. As if they what? If they burned, they burned in, in a, a furnace. furnace. There you go again. So, when you burn anything in a furnace, everyone already knows the answer to that, right? They come dark. They come dark. So, two times we've, we've heard the book tell us that, look, even the angel, in this instance, each, even, even our Messiah, is always black. So, now, if Satan, who we call the devil, the first devil, if this were his brethren, then what color, what color is he? Dark. Well, he's dark. Yes. He has to be black. He has to be black. So, we mm. can conclude that if Christ is black... Surely they didn't make his brethren white. No. Because, that's true. because in sense. because in any regards, we are that embodiment of our creator. So in the book of Genesis mm. one or two, it's uh, one, sorry, it says, Come, let us make man in what? In our, our own image. image. In our own image. Well, talk to me then. Talk yeah, to me then. We got to we got to Huh? 100%. 100%. So if 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 we want to really stick by facts and truth, mm -hmm. then who's the real first devil? It's a white ah. man. No, come on. If we really want to stick with truth without without the emotion, but we come into the we come into the to that side, we we, we we're not saying that the white man isn't being devilish either but we first need to get don't forget all the curses and the promises were not given to nobody else right right the curses and the promises the promises being first they were given to israel who is the black people right right well if if is it are we are, were we being told that um that we were only gonna fall because a white man's gonna make us fall? No. We were told we would fall if we, who is black, didn't listen. Right. Mm -hmm. So how can we call anybody the devil when we are the ones who didn't listen? So if we the ones if we the ones who didn't listen, what should we call ourselves? Hmm. If we're the ones well, who didn't listen, bro, time. No. Yeah, that's true. I would like to just put in something. Put put something is that um, when when the son of the Most High was speaking with his people at his time when he was on Earth, right? Were, were he speaking with white people or black people? Oh, there, <laughs> there you go again. There you go again. Who was he speaking to? Because hear what he say, hear what he say. Yeah. A lot of them, those that was against him, he told them that the father is a devil. Right. Those that were against him, he told them that if you if you had listened to Abraham, you would have listened to me, because Abraham mm -hmm. he saw my day and he was happy, and they said uh -huh. we we be no slaves to nobody. He says you are you of your father. <laughs> You of your devil. father, the devil, but he's talking to black people right there. <laughs> he even mm. he even took it one step further while he was with his best brethren, Peter. And yes. Peter said to him, You won't surely die. You you ain't gonna go die nowhere. Yes, that's right. What did he say to him? Get behind me, me Satan. Get thee behind me, Satan. So if we agree that even Peter was a black man because he was an Israelite, what does that tell us time and time and over and over and over and over? There's some deceitfulness in us. You see, brother, because look, all the stories that they've told us emotionally, they're, mm -hmm. not, they're not a lie, but they're not in the right context. That's right. 
And when we are dealing without dealing with knowledge in the right context, we're still liars. Right. Yeah. We're still liars because everything has its place, right? Everything right. has its everything has its place. But like the book of um a Chronicles, is it Second Chronicles seven, yeah? Which says if my people Yeah? Yeah, fourteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seven and fourteen, yeah? Yeah. So it says if my people who were uh, We shall call by my name. Who, uh, yeah, read it for us, brother. Pull it for us, I beg you. If my people, which yeah. are called by my name, they are called by my name, yeah, shall humble themselves, they humble themselves, and, yeah, and pray, and they pray, and seek my face, they seek my face, and turn from the wicked ways. Hold on, <laughs> are they being told to run from the white man? Nah. <laughs> oh, no. No. It says for the black Israelite to turn from his own wicked way. But read, finish reading, brother, just in case the white devil is in there. <laughs> <laughs> then will I hear from heaven. Right. And will forgive the sin. I'll forgive them. Go and on. And will heal the land. And will heal the land. Now... Where about it, that scripture? Does it say we're gonna have a white devil chasing us around? No, no, mm. nowhere in there. It's nowhere in there. There's not even a clause in there for him. You know what? It's, it's, it's a mindset. It's where, where we're thinking in that state, like a mindset, not realizing we are kings and queens of this earth. The earth has been given unto us to govern and to rule. But yet, where we're seeing another people and thinking that they have the authority. Do devil things for us when we when we are the kings and queens on the earth. As long as so, therefore we should be doing these devilish things. We should be exact, exacting righteousness on this earth. That's right. Right. That's what it is. It's all in the mentality. Right. Goes back to what they talk things about the culture. Right. This is this is why for me, um, us understanding our culture. Uh, you know, we need to do this on a, on, a, on a better level, brothers, because what I really want to show us is something that, you know, um, that they do when you start in a business. You know, when you start in a business, you want, you want real clarity, don't you? <laughs> before, you before you put your energy, your resources into anything, you want clarity what you're doing. Yeah, but you cannot have clarity if you don't even have an office. You can't have clarity. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah, verse. Yeah, the bombshell. Right. The, the first episode, the first episode of John. First John. Chapter three. Right. Verse eight. Right. He said, "He that committeth sin." Is of the devil. Oh, there you go again. Sorry, brother. Um, um, read that again. Let, let's 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 read it together. He, he that what? He that com committed sin. Let me let me rephrase it. The white man in America. <laughs> <laughs> that committed sin. No, it can't be the white man ruling New York. Committed sin. No, the, 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 sin. no, the Rothschild and the Bilderbergs. <laughs> oh, the one that commits sin. The one who commits sin. Mm -hmm. Brother, in brother. Verse 10, yeah, brother, De verse brother 10, Demin. Brother Demin. Brother I'm De here. Yeah. I, 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 hold, I hold the phone close to my ear so I can hear it. Uh, can you, did you hear that scripture? Yeah, 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 I hear it. Okay. I'll read on again, brother Ayan. Yeah, and um, you say. He that committeth sin is of the devil. He that commits sin is of the devil. Go on. Uh, he that committed sin, he is of the devil. Yeah. Sorry. Say, uh. in this the children of God are manifested. In this the children of the Creator are manifested, yeah? The children of the Most High is the manifested. Yeah. And the children of the devil, whosoever doeth not righteousness, uh. is not of the Most High. Uh. Neither he loveth 
No. Well, that's the key there, brother. That's the key that our emotional teachers, if nothing else, don't want us to see. Because, brother, look, there's so much more to come. Brother Ayan, thank you for yeah. bringing up that scripture. Listen. Thank you so much bro, for that scripture. Bro, time. Yeah. Um, so, basically, is you, so basically, is you saying that, because it's saying in the scripture that he that commits sin is of the devil. Yeah. Um, but uh, EA only gave the Israelites um, the law. Yeah. And to and to break the law, you guys that's that's how you commit sin. Yeah. So so are you saying that only the Israelites are are the, is the only people to um uh, become devils because um the Most High only 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 gave the law to his people. Well, that's that's one that's one way of looking at it. Obviously, we're not we're not trying to say all the other scripture that tells us that all the other nations who are dealing evilly with us will go unaccounted unaccountable they will not escape the evil they're doing and they are devils too in fact some of them hold the bigger power of the devil right now um brother Ian, uh do, do you know yes. the scripture where it says um yes where it says, um, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Yes, um, yeah? Philippians 6, 10. Right, can you, can you pull it for us and, and read it for us also, please? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. So we can, we can edify something from that. <clears throat> Let's okay, just... it says, um, finally, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Right. And he said, put on the whole armor of the Most High, yep. that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. You hear that now? Now listen now carefully to the next line. Put on the whole That's armor right. of the Creator, that you may be able to stand yeah. against the, the wiles of the devil. That is, all his machinery, all the things yeah. he's doing, yeah? Read on, brother. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Now hold on. Who is the we now? His people. His people Israel. So we're not wrestling against what? Flesh and blood. So the white man is flesh and blood, isn't he? Yes. So it can't be him, can it? But read on. Any, anybody else. <laughs> but read on anyway. But against principalities. Against principalities. Against powers. Against powers. Against rulers of darkness of this world. The rulers of the darkness of this world. It can't be the white against, man you see on the street. <laughs> against spiritual wickedness. Yeah. In high places. Against spiritual wickedness. These high places don't simply mean um, Trump Tower. Or the top of um, or the top of the uh, what do you call it? World Trade Center. High places means the heavens too. Yes, sir. That's why we read it that uh, Satan is the prince of the power of the air. Yes. These yes, are sir. the high places we're being dealt with. So there are layers of um, who the devil is, but it has yes, to sir. start. It has to start with ourselves. Because if we get everything right, like the book says, who can who can come against us? Right. If we're doing right, if we keep in his righteousness, according to Deuteronomy, if we keep to his righteousness, who are we possibly to be afraid of? No one. Wow. No no one. Unless we're now telling ourselves that the white man is enough to conquer the people of the Creator. Even while they were doing righteousness, because we w we would need to we would need to be saying that. So, brother, uh, De uh, brother Damon, yes. the deception there is, they want us to they want us to these teachers want us to become weak, 
and fight the wrong enemy instead of us to be strong and become righteous. To become righteous. Once you're righteous, you, you can't be afraid of anybody. That's true. It doesn't matter who it is. Nations, the Creator says that in the book of Deuteronomy. Nations can't come against you. Mm -hmm. You just need to do what I say. It's like... It's like, you know, it's like in the boxing ring, you know. You know your, you know your man's good for the fight. Right. But you tell him, look, don't lose your head. When you're in there, I'm going to be shouting out instructions to you. Don't worry what you think. Just follow my instructions. Just follow my instructions. That's what the Torah is, right? The law, our commandments, our righteousness. Just follow my instructions. If the Creator be for us, who can be against us? But we'll leave that for now because it's a huge subject that we would love to enjoy even more. Because we want to focus on the culture. And every question you would see that we ask always comes back to the culture issue. When we're in the wrong culture, we can sin every day. Because that's all that's around us. When we were in the right culture, all you're surrounded by is people like-minded like you. From the morning till the night. It's a cultural thing. So that's where we want to pick it up from. On the spiritual level and on the physical level. Brother Andre, you want to say something? Language, how close 